wander, ramba, rombio, awake all night, outside near the terminal, without a reservation, a floating consciousness, acute sensitivity to the wet warm breeze, too wet, the wet warm breeze and the trade winds blowing too much, too much. Observing consciousness, observing consciousness, able to hold a twist long enough to float on a cement seat, lapses of mere seconds into sleep. Or upon a cast iron bracket, a garland block bracket of the park's bench, until a mosquito wakes me from another glimpse of unconsciousness. Anyway, due to a fellow traveler who listened to my story, who gave me 10 pesos, Cuban pesos, two cones of peanuts, and a bottle of water on our bus ride. And instructions Check your bags, spend three pesos. Wander freely, rombio, all night. You should have enough first thing in the morning to get to the airport. So I wandered until it was boring. I slept on a cement bench, but slept, I didn't sleep. Finally made it to the airport, spent five hours watching 300 people go back to Moscow. No Americans there. In Cuba, the embargo is a genocide against the Cuban people. So made it through sitting still on seats in airplanes on the floor in the airport, in the airport parting. 60 hours awake doing these long still postures. Practical yoga. All the way home. I felt my entire gut responding, tightening in waves, burping, stomach gases. farting freely. <laughs> <laughs>